continuing our reading in Ragweed and Poppy by Avi. This time is Chapter 9, Helping Poppy. To which Ragweed said, Okay, Poppy, pleased to meet you. Poppy grasped the bars of the trap with her two front paws and peered through the holes. Thank you. May I ask, please, what's your name? Ragweed, Poppy said. I don't think I've ever seen a mouse like you before, but I have to admit I've never traveled far from home. Your tail is a bit short. You're not a deer mouse, are you? Golden mouse. Is that, you know, a problem? Oh, no said Poppy. Not at all. I mean, your fur is nice. And anyway, I don't care what you look like. I'm so happy to see you. I've been in here so long, I was beginning to think no one would come. That I might even die here. Do you live nearby? Nope. Way away. But we need to, like, chop the chatter and try to get you out. Thank you. It's awful in here. Have you ever been in a trap? Nope. Don't intend to either. I, you know, uh, like to keep my eyes open. Okay, let's see what I can do. The first thing Ragwe did was grasp the metal bars around one of the holes with his two front paws and give them a few shakes. They didn't budge. Then, using more strength, he tried to pull the bars apart and make a bigger hole. That didn't work either. I tried all that, said Poppy. The next thing Ragweed did was go to one end of the trap where the sheet metal flap had closed down. He attempted to lift it. It would not move. He struggled again, pulling as hard as he could. The flap stayed put. He went to the other end of the trap and attempted the same thing, but achieved no more. Finally, he tried to pull at the side rods. That did, didn't make any difference either. Returning to where Poppy was looking out at him, he said, Sorry, can't seem to open anything. I tried pushing those flaps too, said Poppy, sounding almost apologetic. I think they're locked. I don't know how. Let's try it together, suggested Ragweed. The two of them attempted to pull apart the bars and then went on to try the, to lift the end flaps. Nothing moved. Ragweed sat back and looked at Poppy. I'm not sure what I can do, he admitted. I don't want to be here for the rest of my life, said Poppy. But if those humans come back, she shuddered visibly. I might not even have a life. I get it, agreed Ragweed. Not gleaming good. Now, you said you have a big family and you think they would help? Oh, yes, said Poppy. The minute they know what happened to me, I'm sure they would come. Cool, said Ragweed. Then I'll hurry on over, tell them what's happened and where you are. With a whole pack of paws, you know, they'll, they should be able to flip those flaps. Uh, you good with that? Uh, tell me again where you live. You said it was close? Oh, yes, thank you. You'll need to go through Long Meadow, but make sure you don't go into the forest. I never do. Uh, why not? It's dangerous. All kinds of awful creatures live in there. Anyway, once you cross through the meadow, you'll reach a creek. We call it Glitter Creek. Walk along its bank until you see, on the other side, an old orchard. That's the best place to cross. It's narrow there. Even so, the creek is deep in places, so you need to stay on the rocks to get over. Once you get over, go through the orchard and past an old pump. After that, you'll come to a human house. We call it Gray House. It belonged to someone named uh, called Farmer Lamont, but no human lives there now. Uh, but I should tell you, lately some people have been coming around. We don't know why. It's worrying. Everyone is tense. That was one of the reasons I wanted to get away for a bit. My papa has been extra irritable lately. As it is, he doesn't like outsiders. He might not be welcoming. Anyway, that's where I live, Gray House. Lots of my family should be around. As I said, I'm sure they'll come as soon as they learn what's happened to me. I'm on it, said Ragweed. Oh, said Poppy. Another thing, make certain you don't go beyond Gray House. If you wander across the Tar Road or up Bannock Hill, 
You've gone too far. It might not be safe. Is there any place that's safe around here? Asked Grey Week. Well, not completely. Never mind. I can, you know, handle it. Now, tell me again, how far is this gray house? I can't say precisely. Um, not too far, Poppy pointed. It's that way, I promise. Oh, she continued. When you get there, it would be best if you spoke to my father first. His name is Lungwort. He's in charge of everything. You can't miss Papa. He always wears a thimble on his head. My mother's name is Sweet Sicily. They're the ones you'll need to ask, except... Uh, except what? I'm afraid my father, like I said, doesn't like strangers. Hey, we just met each other, said Ragweed. I know your name, Poppy. You know mine, Ragweed. So we're not strangers anymore, right? That's sweet of you to say, said Poppy. Okay, let me go hustle, said Ragweed. Hold on, I'll get you some more food and water. He scurried about and gathered up as many seeds as he could find and dumped them through some holes in the trap. Then he pushed through a small cup-shaped flower, found some dew, and poured that in. That should work until your family get here, said Brayweed. I'll go as fast as I can. What should I do if the humans come? You need to ask? Hide. But where? Anywhere. Poppy looked about. I'm afraid there's not much room to hide. Then make yourself as small as possible in a corner. Don't say anything either. Hey, if you want my advice, from now on, you know, keep your eyes open. But... Okay, I'm heading out. I don't expect we'll see each other again. I've got places to go, things to see. Good luck! But... Ragweed, however, was already gone, running in the direction Poppy had suggested. Clutching the bars of the trap, Poppy looked after him. Thank goodness he came, she thought, and sat back. What was his name? Oh, yes, Ragweed. I should have told him. I was pretending to be in a dreamy ballroom dancing when I went into the trap. My parents don't approve of dancing, and I never get permission to go. I just wandered off by myself. The trouble with wandering is you can get lost. But with those humans coming around Grey House, I needed to get away. Poppy sighed. Dancing is such a nice feeling. The grass is so gentle on my feet. The air soft. When I close my eyes, I feel all whirly. It's, it's as if I were in the center, the exact center of the whole world. But I wasn't. I was in this trap. Then Poppy became aware that there was another thing she should have told Ragweed. Yes, the forest was dangerous, but it might be as unsafe to go through Long Meadow. All kinds of bad creatures live there, too. Oh, I do hope nothing happens to him. That would be awful. I could never forgive myself. With that troubling thought, Poppy went off to a corner of the trap and tried not to think what might happen if those humans returned. Even as she settled down to wait, she shuddered and whispered, Hope that Ragweed gets to Grey House fast. That's the end of chapter 9.